Welcome back everybody. We are doing something a little bit different. There's been a lot of talk in the costuming community lately about um, finding resources and all of that and I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. While I use a lot of silk, I don't tend to buy it in yardage as much as you might think. So we are gonna go on a little tour through the thrift stores in my area and go find some silk. Sometimes I find a lot of stuff, sometimes I find nothing. And you never really know when you're thrifting what you're gonna find. So you kinda just gotta open yourself up to the universe and see what it's gonna bring you in the form of fun thrifted textiles. I used to do this a lot more than I have been recently just because I have back stock of stuff to use now. If you do this a lot and start making it a habit and really develop those skills on what to go and look for, you, you eventually find more than what you're going to use. So I have gifted some away, I've used it as linings for other people, and it's not always just silk. Sometimes I find cool wool blends or other things. I have people who think I'm crazy talking to my phone. No, 2021, you wouldn't think that was a thing. But let's go and see what we can find. We're going to stop at a couple places because I've kind of got a loop now that I've worked out in my end of the metro that I can usually hit and find some decent stuff at. I hope you come along. So I decided to stop and check in with you guys just to kind of give you an important thing. My first stop is actually pretty awesome. There's a nice bag full of cool stuff right there. But the two I had after that, not so much. I mean, I think it's important to be honest with you guys. Not every thrift store on every stop on any given day is going to be the insane haul of all the items that you ever dreamed of. It's just not true. And if it is, I would love to know what neighborhood you're shopping in. That's kind of awesome. So we are going to stop and get a milkshake and then go on to my last stop of the day.
right, we are back from my sorted hauls. Ended up hitting up a couple regional change and a couple goodwills. I had a lot of fun going and running around. It's something that I've done since I was a kid. And I wanted to show you guys what I had and kind of go over some ideas of what I'm going to get out of this. I've got this wool poly blend blanket. I think it was originally from US Airways. And it is going to become a nice warm skirt for later this fall. It's kind of got that nice warm fuzzy coat texture which will keep me warm when it's snowing in obnoxious times like September. But this was normally $8,799 but I got it on a half off day so it was four bucks and it's approximately two yards They're usually 60 wide or something like that so a little more than two yards plenty to make a very simple skirt um, next up out of my first stop was a set of some of these famous printed Ikea curtains. Not dissimilar to some of the patterns that you see in the late 18th century, so it will probably become a late 18th century English or Italian gown, depending on what I'm in the mood for. Um, these are going to get washed. They do have some small stains and such. I'm going to see if I can get out with some OxyClean. And for my purposes, it shouldn't to do too much damage to just wash all of it out. Um, one thing you do have to keep in mind when you're doing something like this is you might have to seam rip out some hems or take out curtain binding what this is in order to be able to use this a little bit more effectively but it's a hundred percent cotton it should wash I'm sorry I take that back it is half cotton half rayon I think it's cotton rayon blend either way It'll be good for what I was intending to use it for, which is kind of my point. And it's mostly a natural fiber, so I won't die. Um, I am one of those people that has issues with heat, and I can't be wrapped up in polyester, acetate, that sort of stuff, because I will overheat. But that is my personal choice, and I've made it based on my medical history. You guys do you. Another fun thing I found was a set of these gorgeous green silk drapes. They're lined in some sort of cotton poly blend thing. And it, I think these would be great for a lot of things. The silk is just a bit slubbier than what would have been popular, but after I'm washed, it's probably going to have that soft watered silk effect, and some of these slubs shouldn't be quite as noticeable. And they've got these giant fun tassels. So I haven't decided if I'm just going to steam this and call it a day to try and clean it and sanitize it, or if I'm actually going to wash it. Um, if I just steam it, then it will keep this crispness that it already has. If I wash it, it'll get more of a soft, drapey effect. So it's probably going to depend on what I make out of it. And both of these panels came with these giant, cool yet obnoxious curtain ties. I'm thinking that might be fun at the end of a sash. Or as a wrap something ridicule it's kind of big for a ridicule but bonus I got two curtain tie backs with giant crazy uh, tassels so 
got that. Here's the second one. With these lined silk drapes that I keep finding at the fabric store, I will also rip out the cotton poly linings and save those to do mock-ups. So I'm really getting a two for one. I'm getting my fashion fabric and I'm getting stuff to practice with by getting curtains. Um, we also found pink. So we've got pink balances. These look like they might have been homemade out of an additional panel or something. They've got a lot of back stitching and loose thread you don't normally see in mass manufacture like this. But we've got the two valances, which might make some fun little, I don't know, Regency-ish sleeves of some sort. Kind of screaming Bridgerton to me. So we have silk balances, which were also a part of a set of these baby silk drapes. There is a corner on here that looks like the little kid that these used to be in their room for got some finger paint on them or something and that's why they were at the thrift store because clearly whoever was using these did not notice that or did not sew and just didn't realize how awesome this would be so there's two panels that's roughly five yards worth of fabric which will be super fun to do something with. I still can't decide what I'm gonna make with something that's that pale pink. Kind of might wash me out if I put it next to my face. So we'll see. Um, the next two fabric stores were kind of a bust, but we have some more stuff. So this was, this is a, I'm not sure how true to color this is going to be on camera, but it is a sort of, I want to say brick red shot with black silk. Um, it's another Shantung. It's not as slubby as Dupioni, but it's still kind of slubby. And we've got about two and a third, about two and a third. At some point I will go into my history and working at a fabric store and being able to estimate fabric super easily. But that's how I can tell just from kind of doing the arm thing. So you get a lot of spatial awareness doing that. But, I mean, it's not enough to do a whole dress, obviously. Maybe a cute spencer. Um, I could see it being a doublet, maybe a doublet and sleeves for 16th or 17th century. Um, I'm just gonna play with it. It's enough, I do have enough to do something. I just don't know what yet. another chunk of uh, this one's a bit more slubby this one might actually be a dupioni but it's about a yard and a quarter of 60 inch wide icy blue dupioni it's a dark sort of a medium blue shot with a silvery super pale blue which gives it that iridescent feature you're seeing on camera Hi, you doing okay? So he says hi, everybody. Not enough to do a ton with, but it'll be something cute. Maybe some sleeves. Could use it as bindings and contrasts on a dress. That would be super cute.
I raided the curtains, if you can't tell. Apparently in the spring is when everybody goes and redecorates their houses. So, at least in my neighborhood. We have three panels of very much a dupioni. It's very sluggy silk, which will be good for linings on something. And it's again lined in a cotton poly blend, so I've got practice fabric. But these, I think these were a bit more expensive because you don't see blue silk curtains like this. So they were $9 a piece and I got them on sale for half off. So they were $4.50. But there's three of them. Again, one has a, it looks like a finger painting stain or something at the bottom of it. What are you gonna do? So they're actually almost the same color as the curtains I have in my house. There you go. I've got three of these. And at $4.50 a yard, I'm looking at under looking at under $15 for tons of silk. This one is drapey enough that I can tell they already had washed it at least once before in the washing machine. So I am probably just gonna follow suit and do the same before I pull them apart. The green ones are still crisp enough that I don't think they were washing them. So there's our third curtain. The last thing that I got is actually this really cool plaid. I'm in a sort of a plaid phase. Um, it is sort of a wool rayon or wool poly blend. I was trying to figure out in the store how much there was, but the way it was folded, it was really hard. About a yard and a half. So not quite enough to do the 18th century petticoat I was thinking of. But definitely enough that I could make a cute jacket or something along those lines. The drape and the hand on this is just perfect. So it needs to be something. And I love the colors. It's got blues, it's got some greens, there's whites and orange, sort of a yellowy orange. Um, a little bit of black. This will be fun. Let's see if I can. There we go. Get a little closer so the camera picks it up. So, I hope you have a great day. Like the video if you thought this was helpful. And go ahead and subscribe. Oh, are you going to give kisses? Hi. Mm. <laughs> Um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> if you thought Zoe was adorable at the end of the video, definitely click like and subscribe for more cute doggies interrupting projects. Yes. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, there's a dog first. Doggy fish! Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. <laughs> you were so good while mommy was filming. Are you going to artistically drape yourself across all the fabric hall? Is that what you're doing? I bet it is. <laughs> I got your hand, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Okay, I got it. I will hold your hand. All right. I'm going to hold your hand and finish shooting the fabric, though. <laughs> I need one minute of fabric footage. <laughs> Can I do one minute of fabric footage and then we'll play? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me hold your hand. I'll hold your hand while I do this.
<laughs> Hashtag dogs interrupting projects. Are you going to get in my shot of fabric? Do you want to artistically drape yourself into all of the new fabric? Is that the game? Is that the game we're going to play? You're adorable. Oh, thank you for pointing out I forgot one. Good girl. Yeah. Thank you for pointing out I forgot the little blue remnant. There we go. Hi.